Johnny Lee Searles, sing guitar. Big Jim Slade, now. You ready? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Chris Belt, uh, play guitar and sing in Big Jim Slade. Robert Searles, play bass and I sing in Big Jim Slade. Clay Fuqua, drums and percussion and definitely no vocals. Of the band, the rock band, Big Jim Slade.
Jonathan Searles, Royal Champion, Tire Rider. This one's going out to my mama! Get respect, you will get none from me. Welcome to Big Paducah, Kentucky, home of Big Jim Slade originally. We're here by the big train. We're going to discuss Big Jim Slade today. That's what we're going to do. So uh, Big Jim Slade uh, started uh, when Chris and Clay moved to Nashville in 94. And then John and I moved to Nashville and later on, about three months after they did. We do have a, a big history here back in Paducah though. Clay and I started at bands together. Back when I was 13, and you were what? 15. 15. Yeah, before we could drive. And of course, these two are brothers. <laughs> so they had bands together, played around, and we knew each other, of course, during that time to have heard each other and see each other play and stuff. So we always had an admiration for each other. And finally, we ended up together down in Nashville with Big Jim Slade. So it's all good. Driving a forklift is a dangerous job. But the youth of America really needs to know that safe tow motor skills can be learned. So be careful out there. It's a tough job. So anyway, um, we kind of hooked up with Chris first. And me and him and John started jamming around a little bit. And uh, you know, we never could find a drummer that really fit with us. And, you know, it worked. So uh, eventually, uh, Clay was there also down in Nashville also. So called him up, had a little lunch at Satco, and invited him into the fold. So uh, that was back in May of '97, and today is June 7th of 2003. We're still rolling. Six years strong. Yep. 
Still rolling. Haven't started yet. That's right. <laughs> Fresh hour sounded real good. It might be. Yeah. Look, kid, flap. It was just that waiver that I heard. I don't know the flower part. Yeah, flower. Flowers, funky, funky flowers. <laughs> Listen to the first one. Fresh new hour. You beat that. Pretty young right there. Yeah. All right. Delicate flower. Punchy and the bass. Yeah. Still, you know, that's yeah. that, that cabinet's giving that <laughs> yeah. punch, I think. So. Yeah, man. The boy's not out. Hey, now we're just out there throwing rocks and shit. Oh. The practice room. Tuesdays and Thursdays. The home away from home. Boys club. Basically, that's what my wife calls it. Y'all want some? So you have your own, what's it called, cart? What are y'all gonna get? It? Uh, yeah. I like some beer. <laughs> Late nights. Like, 
some nights we'll do practicing. Some nights we won't. Some nights we'll just hang out, talk. Stompers Transformers. Stompers. 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 You guys had Stompers? I had yeah, Stompers. Man, man you had to customize the Stompers. You had to take the little motor out and put the big one in. Toby and his cake. <laughs> Toby cake. Toby Murphy sitting in on the uh, carrot cake, cake over here. Play <laughs> cake. Yeah, it's a uh, it's vintage. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. It's a good place for us to all just go out there and get together. We love to call it our Antioch Gentlemen's Club. <laughs> Not take out the trash for two weeks. <laughs> we created a lot of music down there. Lots of good times where it's where we go and escape the world and the day job. You know, just a good vibe, uh, Christmas lights hanging. get the air on there, we start jamming, we hang out, and it's just, it just continues the, the brotherhood of the band, you know? It's our little special place in the world. No matter how bad the world is, it's always good down there. But uh, it's, it's a cool place, a little on the pricey side, uh, and the air doesn't always work, but uh, it's, it's a cool place. <laughs>
we're gonna cut around to a few of our uh, favorite places back here, Vidka, and let you check it out and see where we're all from. What made us so honored. <laughs> <laughs> Bums all the time. I never get to see you. I thought you were too big of a rock star to come to Paducah anymore. No. Gentlemen, all well? Oh, yeah. Okay, with the camera with you. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> yeah. You're making a little DVD. Yeah, I'm trying to, yeah. We got new songs out in the vehicle. I gotta have me some double books. You're gonna, no, I'm telling you, you're gonna regret it right now. I'm just going. Alright. <laughs> Coming band. Is he rolling? <laughs> I don't know if he's rolling, but I knew him before they were gay, before they went with the whole. <laughs> That's, too many. That's too many times. Give me my ticket. That right there is Finkel's. That's where we used to get our husky jeans at. <laughs> What got me into music more than anything was uh, my dad's Beatles 65 album and maybe Beatles, uh, Meet the Beatles actually. I remember having those albums when I was a kid and I mean I listened to them, wore them out, you know, wore the groove down, way down into the album. Well I remember when I was seven years old and my dad telling me that he at least wanted me to learn how to play guitar so I could carry it on through, you know, family and all that. Didn't care if I did it, you know, on a professional level or anything. At least wanted me to learn. My brother played guitar, and I was always interested in that. He's like eight years older than me, so got to see him play in a few high school bands and stuff like that. So that was cool. And finally talked him into teaching me something, and all he showed me was uh, how to play the first lick of Smoke on the Water in the wrong key. That's all I knew how to play for like a year. Uh, I guess I'd have to say my dad and my mom uh, were the ones that inspired me to get into music. I, and actually John started playing guitar and uh, I, I did about the same, I guess around the same time. Started playing bass and uh, we took lessons. My dad played banjo, my mom played piano and sang. Dad's not very good at banjo. I mean actually every uh, Sunday morning I'd hear dad going, and my mom in there getting ready for church screaming, Bill, it's out of tune! Bill, it's out of tune! Does that end on it? Sorry, Dad. There was always music around the house, and Mom played piano. Dad always playing guitar around the house. You know, Dad had tons of records, and Mom had records. It was cool. It was a music-filled family. I just always grew up around music and loved it, and I knew it was something special, you know, more than anything. I guess my main influence is, as far as bass playing goes, is probably John Paul Jones and uh, Tommy Shannon. Ace Freely, he like turned me on first. The uh, thing I really like about him, just a quick thing, is that he always played just for the song. Early on, probably the Beatles. It's pretty much anything that starts from A to Z, but growing up, of course, the Beatles. Hendrix, Jimmy Page, love Jimmy Page. The Ventures, Tesla, Old Aerosmith. Credence, Clearwater Revival, and Almond Brothers, Earl Thomas Conley, the Alice Cooper, to Zeppelin, Kiss. But then I like people like uh, Adam Ant and the drumming, you know, and that stuff. Docking, any kind of rock stuff. And but the person who I would say probably impacted my playing the most would be like Oddly Freed. Two oh five. 
right? I know we didn't stop before 11. No, like two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Five, five <laughs> count them, two. five, and two and a half. <laughs> Uh, I think we're gonna turn these mountains. That's just a champagne jam, huh? Champagne. Hey Michael, did Tim McGraw do something here? Uh no. He heard some vagrant saint stuff that a guy who knows him played it for him and they listened to it on the tour bus and so the guy said, Hey, sign a picture for them. He said, All right. <laughs> Welcome to the switchyard bathroom. Come on in. studied in school for a while to be a professional piccolo player but my embouchure you know I just it wasn't good with you know so you know they put me on drums and I I I <laughs> any name a song that that that's crucial in crazy train crazy train oh uh, another name. Uh, uh, another one would be Aerosmith's Sweet Emotion. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Low Rider, too. That's not what Low I was Rider thinking too, of. Yeah. Take it. Uh, yeah. Another very famous and famous. What style? Rock. Rock. The height of guitar. Peerless fucking innovation of guitar and the master Damn, of his time. And yeah. yeah. Crosstown traffic. Oh, that's right. All uh, on the watchtower. Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes. You are right, man. You are correct, sir. Okay. That's my little bit of trivia for the day since we got the Viper Slap out. The song is called Power of Changes. Like 
we're just four normal guys that want to play music, you know. Simple as that. I told you, boy, get out of my yard now. I'm going to call the cops on you. <laughs> <laughs>